Hi everyone, this is Arvind from AllCPL. Topic for today's session: Difference between .NET Core and .NET Framework. In this session, we will learn what are the difference between .NET Core and .NET Framework. The first difference: Platform or a framework. .NET Framework is a full-fledged development framework. The framework provides all the basic requirements for the development and applications, UI, DB, connectivity, services, API. All these feature available in .NET, uh, .NET framework. .NET Core is a platform on top of which there are Framework such as ASP.NET Core and Universal Window Platform that leverage and extend the feature of .NET Core. Second, on the basis of open source. .NET Framework is a not open source, it is a more of a community development software project. .NET Core is open source software or a framework. Third difference on the basis of cross platform, although .NET Framework was designed to develop software and application for all operating system for all operating system it it ended up favoring windows thus dotnet framework is majorly used to develop window based application but in case of dotnet core dotnet dotnet core follow the principle of build one run anywhere thus it is a cross platform it supports windows mac linux platform you can build your application on any platform and run it on another platform fourth difference type of application on the basis of type of application dotnet framework is used to build both desktop as well as web application window forms and wpf application are very well supported in case of dotnet core the dotnet core focus more on web window mobile and window store application currently it does not support desktop application environment next difference packaging and shipping dotnet framework is packaged as a whole all the libraries are bundled together and shipped together even if you do not require any library for your application it is still come as a part of the package in case of dotnet core the core is divided as as a set of nuget package it has been focus majority it has been focus modularized and shipped as several nuget packages although the common runtime libraries are still a part of the bundle the developer has the freedom to selectively includes other libraries as per need this makes dotnet core very lightweight no extra bags support for microservices 
डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क डज नॉट सपोर्ट द क्रिएशन एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ माइक्रो सर्विसेस इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस डॉट नेट कोर सपोर्ट फॉर माइक्रो सर्विसेस डॉट नेट कोर अलाउ अलाउ अ मैक्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट कैन मिनिमलाइज फॉर ईच माइक्रो सर्विसेस सपोर्ट फॉर डब्ल्यू सी एफ रेस्ट सर्विसेस डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क इज एन एक्सटेंशन डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क इज एन एक्सेलेंट चॉइस वेन डब्ल्यू सी एफ सर्विसेस आर इन्वॉल्व इट आल्सो सपोर्ट रेस्ट सर्विसेस बट इन केस ऑफ डॉट नेट कोर द डॉट नेट कोर हैज नो सपोर्ट फॉर डब्ल्यू सी एफ यू वुड ऑलवेज नीड टू क्रिएट रेस्ट एपीआई and the last one cli tool dot net framework is too heavy for command line interface so developer prefer working on cli rather than ide dot net core supports very lightweight cli for all platform there is always an option to switch to an id as well these are the basic difference between dot net framework and dot net core if you have any query you can write in comment section thank you